Hey world, Arachne Queen here, and today we're going to talk about a family of spiders called Pisaridae. Now, like with the Latrodectus, probably don't know what that is, but it's most commonly known as a fishing spider, or as I prefer it, a nursery web spider. Now, before we get into the actual science of the species, I want to start out by saying the nursery web spider, some people seem to think that it has to do with spiders and the baby's nursery. Well, humans, stop being so selfish. Not everything's about you. The nursery rub spider has nothing to do with human babies. It has nothing to do with nurseries. It has nothing to do with anything of the sort. I've even heard people that say the nursery rub spider is a spider that stays in nurseries to kill babies. I'm pretty sure that if we had a baby-killing spider, we would call it a baby-killing spider, not a nursery web spider. Just saying. So, members of the Pisaridae are part of the subfamily of Arachnomorphi, which means true spider. So in other words, they are a normal true spider, not a tarantula or anything other than that. The Pisaridae is actually closely related to the Lycosidae. And the Lycosidae, if you remember, is a wolf spider. Now the main difference between a wolf spider and a Pisaridae or a nursery web spider is not only their size, the wolf spider is a little bigger, is that the best way to identify them is actually their eye arrangement. The Lycosidae has very two distinct big eyes at the front. The Pisaridae or nursery web spider, all of its eyes, and it does have eight, are about the same size. There's really no difference in size of the eyes as they go across. I feel like I'm going to spend a lot of this video talking about the similarities between a wolf spider and a nursery web spider because, well, there are a lot of similarities. Another similarity is that both are the type of spider who doesn't build a web, but instead goes out and actively hunts for its food. Now, this causes them to have to carry their young around. This is where another big difference comes into play. The wolf spider is also known for carrying her young around. However, she does so by attaching the egg sac to her spinnerets and carrying it around behind her. After the babies hatch, they crawl all over her on top of her until they're ready to move on or until they just all eat each other because babies do tend to cannibalize. The nursery web spider, on the other hand, will very carefully carry around her egg sac in her fangs or her chelicerae and her pedipalps. She's very gentle about this, massaging them as she goes and making sure each gets equal heat and equal warmth. When the babies are getting closer to hatch, she'll build a sort of nursery or a hut out of grass and web and sit on top of it and guard it. And as the babies emerge from it, and usually around their first molt when they're able to defend themselves quite um, pretty accurately, they'll leave on their own and the mother will move on with her life. So I've pretty much covered why it's called a nursery web spider, but why is it also known as a fishing spider too? That's because this spider, if it does come across water, and sometimes they do hang around that area because a lot of insects that stay around water, they are able to walk or kind of scooch around on water without breaking the surface tension. Now, a lot of bugs can do this, really, but it actually has to do with the distinct shape of their foot that allows it for them to push on the surface tension of the water without breaking it. Fishing spider is kind of a misnomer. They don't actually catch fish. They're kind of small to catch fish, um, but I guess they saw that they hang around the water and on top of the water, it does look like they're fishing, hence getting the name fishing spider, also sometimes dock spider or raft spider. Now that we've established that the nursery web spider is indeed a very good mother in nature and not a baby killing spider, let's see some cool facts about them. A male when mating, can of course be cannibalized, but like any other type of species of spider. However, it's been seen that the male, before mating, will actually give an offering of food, like a fly or another insect, to the female to hopefully curb her appetite and maybe distract her from the fact that he's potentially food before mating. This species is known to flatten its legs out against its substrate or wherever it's decided to rest its body down. This is something that a wolf spider doesn't do, and is actually something that many tree spiders do across the world. It's assumed that this species is most likely named after the Pisaurus River, now as, known as the Foglia River, in the region of Italy where the spider was first discovered. Make sure to like and favorite if you enjoyed this video about an awesome little spider. 
Um, it really helps me out a lot. Leave a comment. Tell me what you think. And you can leave a like or a dislike if you're a hater. But we all know what haters are going to do. So you can follow me on Twitter. You can follow me on Tumblr. And the Arachne Queen will catch you guys next time.